guys we're talking about composition in this video composition on two or more functions in this video we'll just focus on two um, composition of F and G um, before we get started we're going to talk about the definition and how we set up a composition and then we'll work through two examples so stay tuned So I want to do two examples of compositions. So um, composition, the way you read this, you have F composition with G of X. So when you see F composition G, you can rewrite it the way you see it on the screen. It's the same thing as saying F of G of X. F of G of X. And what we need to keep in mind is that we're always going to look at the function that's in the middle first, the one that's the innermost. So we're going to work with the g of x first and then go back and work with the f of x since it's further out. So let's take a look at a function. What if we're given the function f of x is 2x squared plus x? And let's say our g of x function is x minus 7. So they give you two functions. Then the directions will say find the composition of f and g. So I'm going to rewrite this f of g of x. When I look inside, I'm going to replace the g of x function first. So I'm going to take g of x out and put what g of x is equal to. g of x is equal to x minus 7. So instead of g of x, I put x minus 7. Now, this says go to the f function and put x minus 7 wherever you see x. So I have 2x minus 7 squared plus x minus 7. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to square x minus 7. So if you FOIL that correctly, you should get x squared minus 14x plus 49. Notice the 2 is still out in the front. And I'll leave it out in the front because now I'm getting ready to distribute that 2 to each one of my terms inside the parentheses and they'll give me 2x squared minus 28x plus 98 and then I have the x minus 7 at the end but I don't want to just leave those there let me just combine them with their like terms I can do negative 28 plus x and then I can do 98 minus 7 so my final answer will be 2x squared minus 27x plus 91 and this is my final answer let's flip the page over now let's go backwards let's find g composition with f with the same functions so instead of uh, the previous problem, let's rewrite this g of f of x. You're still going to work with the innermost function first. So I replace the f of x with 2x squared plus x. I'm working with the function that's in the middle first. Then I need to go to the g function and replace all of that with two are not all of that just the X's with 2x squared plus X so I put 2x squared plus X and then I have minus 7 at the end and the parentheses can go away and this will be your final answer As always, let's try a more complicated example to see how things work the same way. 
So I need to find F composition with G. So I rewrote it F of G of X. So what do I do first? I replace the G of X function, the innermost function first. And I replace the G of X with two over X. Now F of 2 over x. I don't know why I rewrote that again. That's funny. But that means go to the f function and wherever you see an x, you put 2 over x. So in the denominator, I put 2 over x plus 9. But I don't want to leave this as my final answer. I want to get rid of this complex looking fraction. So what I'm going to do is multiply the top and the bottom by the LCD. The LCD in this case is going to be X. If you look at the fractions at the bottom, you have 2 over X. And that means that your LCD is just going to be X. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by X to get rid of this fraction within a fraction that I have. So I multiply the whole thing by X at the top and the bottom. So at the top, that gives me 5X. At the bottom, the 2 over x, the x cancels out and I just get 2. And then I multiply the 9 by x and I get 9x. So this is your final answer. Let's do this again going the opposite way. Let's find g of f of x. g of f of x. So I replace the innermost function first. I replace f of x with 5 over x plus 9. Now the next step is to go to the g function and wherever I see x, I'm going to put 5 over x plus 9. Again, this is a complex fraction. I don't want this. So let me see if I can simplify this. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the LCD. In this case, if you look at the fraction at the bottom, the LCD is X plus 9. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by X plus 9. At the top, they'll give me 2 times X plus 9. And at the bottom, the X plus 9s, they cancel out and all I get is 5. So if you want to, you can distribute that 2 and get 2x plus 18 over 5, and this looks like a nicer answer than the complex fraction. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time for the next video. Bye.